Yes, just firstly looking over the win against Aberdeen at the weekend, how would you reflect on it after a few days? Yeah, it was a, a windy one, probably the windy circumstances that I've played in here in Scotland, but um, I and the girls are very happy that we won the, the game, that we went home with three points. Um, especially knowing that um, our main rivals for the title, Celtic and Glasgow City, were playing at the same time. We just wanted to, to get the win um, and yeah, luckily we did. Yeah, in days like that, in tricky conditions, how important is just getting the three points when you might not be at your best? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, even if it's uh, very important, uh, even if we're we're not able really to play the, the type of football that we want to play, because every time it went long and <laughs> went out or it sort of hung in the air a bit. Um, yeah, it's so important to finish the, the chances that you get. Uh, in the first half, we had the the, the wind the wind with us, so that uh, we managed to score. Uh, two goals and then the second half got a bit uh, more difficult with the wind against us but um, yeah we, uh, we managed to secure the win ideally um, with a bit more uh, well a bit more comfortably but um, a 2-1 win is still a win um, so yeah uh, which leaves us in a, in a good position now in the league um, to, to push forward. Yeah and just looking at January as a whole must be real happy as a squad how positive that was and the team competing in three fronts heading into February. Yeah, absolutely. So we came back on the 2nd of January after our Christmas break and uh, everyone was uh, straight away ready to go. Um, we set our targets at the beginning of the season and we would like to win this, well, um, all, the, all the silverware that we can put our hands on. Um, so that means uh, hopefully, um, well, the aim is to win the treble. Um, so we're in a, in a good position right now. Um, we kicked off the new uh, new season, or the new year, sorry, I should say, uh, well. Uh, we've had some good performances and it's not always about um, yeah, just the wins, but how we play as well. Um, so yeah, we're always trying to tweak uh, a few things here and there in our system to make it as like unpredictable as possible for opponents to play against us. We are able to um, play many different ways um, and surprise the opponent a bit and yeah, that should hopefully make us uh, a team that is difficult to beat. Yeah, and you've already booked your place in one cup final as you head into the Scottish Cup action again this weekend. How important is another strong cup run in that? Yeah, we just want to win as many uh, games and cups as possible. Last year we, we managed to win the, the Sky Sports Cup. Um, we hope to do it again um, and we'd also like to book our uh, spot in the other cup final but we're not there yet. Um, First, uh, yeah, there are a few rounds to go, so uh, Sunday um, will hopefully um, be another step towards that goal. Yeah, and you've taken on Dundee United on Sunday, of course. Then their style will be fresh in the memory. You've played them quite recently. What are you expecting from them? Yeah, so um, we are expecting them, them to sit in a bit of a, a low block and make it, make it difficult for us to break through. So that's up to us to find solutions on how to yeah, play through them or around them. You know, that we would like to be as, as ruthless as we, as we can be, um, because that's gonna help us win, win games with, with ease. Um, that's what we've done really well uh, when we played them last time. So hopefully we can uh, yeah, um, have a good performance again on Sunday. Yeah, and how important is approaching the match, right? No two games are the same, despite obviously two convincing wins over them this season. Yeah, it's it's as they always said, take it take it one game at a time. But especially if we're if we're working on like tweaking a few things here and there, uh, it's not just a game that you can throw away afterwards and sort of not reflect on. You can learn from it every game, and we're still adapting to the the way that. Joe wants us to play, so yeah, Sunday is another good test for us, and, and even today on, uh, in training, like um, every day is an opportunity to to work on um, on getting better. Yeah, and for you personally, of course, you've been a mainstay in the back line over the last couple of months. How much are you enjoying the run beside that centre back role? How much responsibility does that position hold? Yeah, uh, I, I quite like the, the fact that you have the whole pitch in front of you. So, um, as a midfielder, I was used to playing in central areas, um, and I, I still play there because we play with three in the back, and I'm the central centre back. Um, but now I have everyone in front of me, so I feel like there's even more responsibility for me now to organize the team, whether it's in and out of possession. Uh, so that's an aspect of the game that I yeah, quite like and quite enjoy. When we start attacking, when we start to build up, it sort of starts with me. So um, it always gives me, uh, yeah, it, it gives me a good feeling if we manage to um, not force the ball long too early, but if we sort of, if we're patient enough on the ball, move the ball right to left or Sent, like if we played forward to, to come back out and then to go along. If, so if, if we pull off like a successful attack like that, when it starts from the back, then um, yeah, that's even when you're not involved in the final third as much, it's still, um, yeah, this is uh, I think quite a fun part of the game. 
Yeah, and just looking at the team, Sunday will mark the start of a three game week. How challenging is that for you as players? And obviously it'll be the first one for a few months. Yeah, uh, we, it won't be the first time that we're going to play three, week, uh, three games in one week. Um, after the split, we'll, we'll have a few of those weeks. Last year, we're, we were a little bit more used to it, maybe in the first half of the season, because we play Champions League as well. But I think we have a good enough squad quality-wise and depth-wise to be able to um, yeah, keep everyone as fresh as possible. Um, rotate everyone in uh, and still um, without losing any quality because we, yeah, the, the, we try to have high levels of standards in training um, and I think yeah, you can almost play anyone in any position and we'll still perform well so the, the goal for us now is to be able to really push ourselves on every match day, uh, recover well in between and um, yeah, sort of don't let the standards drop when we um, go into the second or the third game in one, one week. So that's going to be uh, yeah, a nice challenge for us all. Yeah, and just lastly, Sunday obviously starts off another big month for the club with the Ibrox fixture as well to come in. How much are you looking forward to playing there again? Yeah, very excited, especially because it's going to be Celtic as, a, as the opponent. Um, I don't think we've ever played them at Ibrox before, so that's um, yeah, very exciting. Hopefully as many um, people will come to the, to the game as possible. There's a very exciting promo coming up as well, so um, make sure you watch that as well. Um, and yeah, we're all uh, very excited to be able to play at Ibrox. It's always uh, a great, uh, yeah. Uh, opportunity for us to, to show um, how good we are.